File Downloads is a custom add-on for WP Travel Engine plugin that helps you add downloadable files to the trip individual post. With the add-on, you can easily display the various available files that can be downloaded. Hence, this add-on helps you extend the informative presentation of the trip, adding transparency and clarity of the information to the users. Hello and welcome back to WP Travel Engine YouTube channel. In this video, I will walk you through the step-by-step -step installation process and setup guide of the file downloads add-on plugin. Let's get started. First, you need to log in to your WordPress admin dashboard. Navigate to plugins and click on add new. Click on upload plugin. Click on choose file. Select the zip file that you downloaded. Then click on open. Click on install now. Click on activate plugin. And now the WP Travel Engine file downloads add-on has been successfully installed and activated. Next up, you need to navigate to WP Travel Engine, then you have to click on the plugin license. Here, you have to enter the license key that you received during the download of the add-on. Your license key looks something like this. Now click on Save Changes, then click on Activate License. And now, your license key for file downloads add-on is activated on this side. By activating the add-on license, you can receive regular updates from our team. Next, you need to configure the global settings for file downloads. From under WP Travel Engine, go to Settings. Go to Extensions. Then, go to File Downloads. The File Downloads option shows under Extension tab after you install and activate the File Downloads add-on extension. Here, you will find various general settings for the File Downloads add-on. Before we configure these settings, let's scroll down to the File Uploader section. The section allows you to upload and set the global files. The file browser will only display the file types which are compatible with the plugin, including PDF, doc, docx, images, and text files. This section allows you to manually add specific global files to individual trip pages. It's useful if you want to display only certain global files for download on specific trip pages. To add a file, click on Add New File. Then select the file. I'm selecting a PDF file. Then click on select. You can add more files if you wish to. Now click on save and continue. Next, let's go to one of the trips. Go to trips and click on all trips. I'm going to open it in the new tab. Let's select one of the trips from here. I will select the first one. But before I click on edit, I'm going to open the strip in the new tab on our website so that we will be able to see the differences in the end. Let's go back and we will click on edit. On your trip page, scroll down and go to the file download section. The section allows you to upload trip specific files for download. Here, you can upload the file related to a particular trip only. So apart from the file that you added earlier from the global settings, you can add a different file here which is only relevant to this trip. To add a downloadable file, click on add new file and select one of the files. I will select an image this time. Let's go with this and click on select. You can add more files following the same process. Then from global files list, you can also select and add the global download files. Simply click on choose global download files and from the drop down menu, 
you can select the file that you uploaded earlier from the global settings, which is this trip itinerary file and click on add global file and the file has been added. Now to display the downloadable files available on your website, you will have to copy the short code to the trip page or any other post pages, tabs or widget of your choice. The trip specific short code is generated as per the trip ID. You simply have to copy this code and let's paste it on the trip page here. So let's add it right after the description. Just to paste it here. Now click on update. Let's go to the same trip page. We had added the short code right after the description. So let's give this page a refresh and here are the downloadable files that you added earlier. Also, let's go back to the global settings. You will find a global short code here as well to list and display the downloadable files. To demonstrate an example, let's add this short code on a post. Copy the short code, go to post and click on add new. Let's open the link in the new tab. Add in a title. Then paste the short code. Now click on publish. Now let's view this post in the new tab. And here is the downloadable global file. Now we will go to the general settings under global settings for file downloads. The first two options are file download header text and file download header description. You can set the header and description from the first two options. So let's add the header text and header description from here. Click on save and continue. On our front end, let's give it a refresh. And here you can see the header as well as the description for file downloads. Let's go back. The third option is to list global or trip specific files. If you enable this option, the global files will be displayed by default if the plugin cannot find trip specific files. If you leave it unchecked, only files listed in a specific trip will be displayed, else nothing will be shown. Another option is always list global files. If you enable this option, the global files will always be listed on top and then only the trip specific files will be listed, whereas the repeated files will be omitted. Click on save and continue. Let's go to our front end and when you refresh it, you will see that the global file will always be listed on top and then only the trip specific files are listed. Another option is to allow your users to view the file that you have added in new tab. If you enable this option and click on save and continue, Let's go back, give this tab a refresh first. When your visitors click on the files that are listed here, they will be able to view the file in the new tab. For example, for the trip itinerary brochure file, if they click on download, the file will be opened in the new tab. And it is the same with the second trip specific file. As opposed to view file in new tab, if you select one click download by enabling the toggle, click on save and continue, go back to the front end and give your tab a refresh. Now when your visitors click on the file, they will automatically be downloaded on one click. Just like how it is doing right now on the screen. So that was it about the file downloads add-on. If you have any questions or confusions, 
please do let me know in the comments section below or even better, you can directly reach out to our support team. I have added the link to creating support ticket in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in our next video.